Hello, this is uh, Jesse from Novak Walk. Welcome to the World Universe Dev Diary. This time, we'll have a closer look at the server technology. As you know, Dual Universe is an upcoming sandbox sci-fi MMORPG, which is focused on emergent gameplay and building. All this taking place in what we call a continuous single shard, which means that everybody is going to be playing in the same universe at the same time. One big server, no instances, no zones. Uh, together you'll be free to create uh, cities, spaceships, or giant orbital stations, as well as political, territorial, or social structures. Well, as you can imagine, this raises quite challenging technical questions. So, let me show you exactly what this is about. This is a debug view of the server, showing the players connected to it as small white dots. You can see that the universe is dynamically partitioned into cubic cells, and as the players go closer to each other towards the center, the cells get smaller and smaller to maintain an average maximum number of players per cell and distribute the load. So you can think uh, of each cell as being roughly uh, like a particular machine on the server cluster. Now, um, let's have a look at how it shows inside the game. Uh, here, we have a client connected to the server and you can see all the players actually gathering to the center. Each player you see is an actual client that we fully simulate as to effectively test the load on the architecture. So they are real and in particular they are all getting the updates about each other's position as they move. You can see in the upper left corner how the dynamic space splitting goes inside the server. The other important aspect is that the further away a player or an entity is, the less frequently it gets updated. Here you can see the name of the player uh, is uh, blinking uh, every time there is an update. So as you can see when we zoom, further away players are less frequently updated than those nearby. And the loss of update frequency is compensated by interpolation techniques. Now let's see how this looks like in a more realistic game situation. A uh, bit more than uh, 1000 players have been uh, spawned in a few hundred meters wide area and they are moving around. Again, each of these players is a full-fledged simulated client. They actually see each other and can interact with each other and with me as a game client, as it would be in a real game world situation. You can see there's uh, really a lot of players, maybe on screen perhaps uh, a few hundreds. So more virtual clients means more server rented for testing. So we are currently limited in how far we can push this until we have actual players connected. But so far our models run as expected. The max distance at which we can see an entity depends on its size. So while we only see players here, keep in mind that the way things work extends to large scale entities like uh, ships uh, that uh, we can see from much further away. Here again, we dynamically play with frequency to maintain a reasonable load. Now, if I get further away from the planet and uh, activate this debug info, uh, you can see the players as I get further away. Now we can see maybe uh, 700s, 800s of them, and all of them are still moving in a fluid way. As you can see, we can have a very high density of players in a continuous single shard universe, and this allows us to build a truly massively multiplayer game where large-scale emergent interactions will be able to take place. Thanks for watching and don't hesitate to visit us on our website, forum or dev blog for more information on this technology and join the newsletter to get the latest news. See you soon in Dual Universe.